is Manchester United 1, Aston Villa 0, Manchester United collecting 3 points today, yes, still moment maintaining the Premier League, you know, maintaining the fact that we want to stay in for the race for the Champions League positions in the top four. It is still going on. We want to finish as high as possible. And yes, that is finishing third in the Premier League this season. Just to mark the achievement and the overachievement, I would I must say, for this season under Eric Ten Hag's first season, a trophy and of course finishing well in the Premier League and strongly as as we want. But today was a different type of game because, of course, Manchester United let us down against Spurs. We were Spurs-like. We was doing a Spurs episode, Spurs Z on Thursday night, bossing it against Spurs after going 2-0 up against Spurs and ending up drawing full-time. But Manchester United today against Aston Villa, of course, meant a lot. It meant that we needed a free point. It meant that we needed to just win our old Trafford, especially under today's circumstances, having the Glazers out protests being and as well on all over social media platforms make sure you guys watch that it's a glazer out movement a big up to those who are doing that as well those who are attending but back to the match today manchester united oh the first 45 minutes we was decent manchester united were always in control like aston villa couldn't touch us at times but you know what manchester was manchester united so it's about what we can do manchester united at times the ball going over the top which I saw that in the first 45 minutes. Manchester United were just producing a lot of balls, trying to find balls over the top, or I should I say the long pass or the long range pass, especially from Casemiro, Bruno, Eriksen. They all tried it, but kept on flopping blocks after blocks from Aston Villa. But you know what? I was like, you know what? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta try. God loves a trial, and you gotta tr keep on trying. Eventually, they'll get tired, and it will work. But that never happened, you know, throughout the whole 90 minutes. The first goal coming from Bruno Fernandes, of course. Casemiro winning the header strongly to just bring that in the direction of Mark Rashford to set him off. Rashford was set off to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper does ever so well. Leaps off like a leopard to save it. And then the rebound. Bruno Fernandes himself connecting to that rebound, making it 1-0 to Manchester United. And us fans were in rapture at that moment there because we was like, thank God! I thought we was never going to score. Finally! A goal! Oh! And it happened to be the guy, Bruno Fernandes himself, no, doesn't want to hear it. Doesn't want to hear that negativity. Nigga doesn't hear that he's not the best number 10, you know, can't dribble and all that kind of stuff but he can find the net and assist when he needs to man like Bruno Fernandes making it 1-0 to Manchester United at that time we was good Manchester United as well tried to turn things around and turn it up as well but they couldn't no half time 1-0 up was thinking we need a second goal we need a second goal we can't take this Spurs moments again and this severe Knights moments again because we can end up conceding in a second half after playing a good first half Manchester United going into the second half, boy oh boy, it was boring. That second half sucked. Manchester United didn't really do much. They protected the leads at times, you know. Aston Villa was coming strong in the second half and was thinking, are we going to do anything? Are we gonna, is it going to happen again? But David De Gea, Victor Lindelof, defensively, solid as a rock today, including Luke Shaw. Dallo as well, Malasio. But Manchester United defensively was good. De Gea saved us a couple of times. As always, so he has been a saviour at times in that goal in between those sticks. But yes, Manchester United defended it well and saw it out until full-time, which Manchester United winning 1-0 at full-time. Collecting another three points is what we want to see. We're happy with that. But we want to get more goals, baby, because our goal difference looks shit. You know, we're not destroying teams. But what I like today from today's team, I saw Manchester United trying to fit themselves in little pockets and make a run into spaces, you know, so they, but they're just not being picked up and found out by the right players, it is what it is today, you know, players as well Luke Shaw was amazing in the first half as always, he's done so well, at times he was playing centre midfield and I was like yes, he was replicating what Martinez does in that defence posi defensive position that he plays at centre back, getting forward at times and putting himself into that midfield position to just help build the attack of Manchester United and of course Sancho was all right but he was shit as well um Casemiro was good he got himself involved smart tackles I know there was one that tackle that you thought this guy should have got a yellow card but he didn't he didn't 
it is what it is guys but this has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor and Spice let me know what your thoughts on today's game let me know who your man in the match is because my man in the match happens to be um, Lindelof as well he was fantastic and they here don't give the match I can't say but let me know who you're going to in the matches. And let me know what your thoughts are on today's game. As always, remember to subscribe. Smash that like button. And share across all social media platforms. And press that notification bell so you can be the first one to watch any video that comes out of Red United TV. And as always, we're back tomorrow live, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch-up. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready United because your boy is out. Peace.